Hey everyone, if you are facing the issue where your Ryzen 5 5600G processor shows only 3 cores and 6 threads instead of the full 6 cores and 12 threads, you are in the right place. This tutorial is a bit longer but I will make it shorter. These quick steps might solve multiple problems. Number 1. Update BIOS. Make sure your motherboard BIOS is up to date. Now first, open the CMD, right click on it, run as administrator and then you need to paste here the command. WMIC space BIOS space get space SM BIOS BIOS version and then hit enter. This will show you the exact BIOS that you are currently using in your motherboard. Right? And now we need to identify the motherboard product version because it's often help us to find the exact BIOS version for your motherboard. Now click on the Windows search icon, search here for system information and then open it. Once you are here, simply you need to find here the uh, pasteboard product. It's over here. B450 Pro M2 V2. That's my motherboard. Now open any browser and then search here for your motherboard BIOS. So B450 M2 V2 BIOS and then hit enter. You will get here the MSI official website port page. Open this one. Once you are here, simply you need to scroll down a bit, drivers and download. Now there's three things, utility, drivers and firmware BIOS. Highly recommended download the utility for your specific windows and then update your drivers. It will often solve your problem. Now, first you can do this and after that go into the firmware. Make sure download the latest BIOS version. Now how you can identify that the latest BIOS version is available or not. So last three digits 4.f1 and over here you can see 4.f1 so that's how you can identify and then click on the download and about uh, how to install the bios in your motherboard you can just click on this hyperlink youtube msi how to use m flash for bios you need a usb 2gb is enough for this uh, setup you need to download this file and then further you can watch this tutorial this will help you to how to install using the BIOS in your motherboard. After doing this, if still your problem is not solved, simply you can reset your motherboard settings. This will often solve your problem. And one more thing you can do here, click on the Windows search icon, then search here for power option, open it. And then you will see here the power option. Then choose here the AMD Ryzen High Performance, AMD Ryzen Balanced. Now, if you did not install the utility, you will not see here the MD Ryzen power option. So you need to set here the high performance and close it. Now restart your PC, your problem should be fixed 100%. One more thing you can do here, you need to search here the MS config and then open the system configuration. Click on the boot, go into the advanced options, choose this check, uh, check this mark number of processors, choose the maximum cores and make sure uncheck this option. Uh, also uncheck the PCI dock debug options only check. Number of processors, choose the maximum course, click on OK, hit apply, OK, and then restart your PC. This will often solve your issues. But if still you are facing, then you need to collect two informations for me and drop your feedback. I will guide you further. Right click on the taskbar, open the task manager and go into the performance, choose the CPU. And over here, you can see in my case, I'm using Ryzen 5 3600, which is six core, 12 threads, logical processors, you can say. So, that's exactly what I have in my uh, with my CPU. So if you have seen here the exact information, which means your system, uh, your registry is misconfigured, you need to configure it back. But for that, first you need to click these information, the first one, and then right click on your Windows uh, icon and then open the device manager. And over here, you need to. here on the processors and make sure there's 12 threads are available 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so which means that your hardware is perfectly fine your bio setting is perfectly fine it's something happened with your operating system might be in registry or yeah mostly it's happened happening some like misconfigured registry settings so we can do that further about this guys but first you need to drop your feedback about this that you are getting everything is fine then we can proceed further see you in the next video have a good day bye bye